But you girls are my life now. I am the potter and you are my pride. You are shaping up. Soon you will graduate to the senior school and I will no longer teach you, but you will always be Brodie girls. Ah, here comes our Mr. Lowther. Our minstrel sweet will sing unto me randily, or drop the briny tear with me, da 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 and like a running river bean. Now, oh. Mr. Lowther, <laughs> you must cooperate with the fattening project. It will enrich your voice. Caruso had the appetite of a giant. <laughs> la donna oh, mobile. good care you take on me. La 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 I was noticed at the theatre. I was noticed and reported to Mr. Gaunt. Mr. Gaunt? That deacon at Cranon, whatever for? Well, he, he considered head a gabbler. Well, he said that the choir master of his church had no business attending that sort of thing with an unmarried lady and children. Oh, oh I defended myself. Fiercely. Well, girls, as you hear, there's now been an attempt to persecute Mr. Lowther on our account. One must never succumb to provincial ignorance. Mr. Lowther did not. Nor shall anyone under my tutelage now eat up, Mr. Lowther. What is it, Sandy? Miss Mackay is watching us from her window. Oh, indeed. I wonder how many more picnics we will be allowed before Miss Mackay thinks fit to patrol the grounds. <laughs> it is Miss Mackay's hope to harass me into leaving Marcia Blaine. Miss Gaunt and certain teachers have taken to bidding me good morning with predestination in their smiles. Do you really think Miss Mackay wants to drive you away? <laughs> it doesn't signify what Miss Mackay wants. Here I am and here I stay. I would not leave you girls for the Lord the Lion Lo King of Arms. <laughs> not even he. I shall remain in this education factory where my duty lies. If they want to get rid of me, they'll have to <laughs> assassinate me. 